Welcome back to another video guys. So successfully I have owned the Mini Cooper for a whole year. This will be my maintenance update. As I said, I would do one when I made a video in August of 27th of 2019, uh, stating and answering are Mini Coopers unreliable. So for people who want to know, I officially have had my Mini Cooper for a whole year now. Um, officially as of three days ago, I've had it for a whole year. So this is my general maintenance update. I said in the unreliable video that I would be doing an update video on if it was reliable or not. So this is it. So one year later and the only thing I've had to replace on the car is the spark plugs. And that's about it. Now we're not including general oil change, you know, maintenance and stuff like that. You know, adding in antifreeze, putting in windshield washer fluid, shit like that. We're talking about just general like maintenance okay like general general maintenance like as in putting another part into the car the only thing i've had to put in is spark plugs and that's just because that's recommended at eighty thousand. now here's the other thing there has been nothing on my car knock on wood but there has been nothing on my car that has actually stopped my car working nothing has broke to where the car doesn't work nothing has broke to where i've had to replace it to get the, uh the car to start working nothing along those lines so generally speaking are mini coopers unreliable the actual answer is it just depends on the mini that you get and i wanted to do this video for a lot of reasons there's a lot of negativity surrounding mini coopers online there's a lot of negativity surrounding people stating and saying oh you know if you get one it's gonna break down it's completely unreliable that's not true it depends on the engine you get and the type that you get for instance i got the uh, regular Cooper, which is an N16, which is one of the most reliable ones you can get uh, besides brand new minis. But you just have to find a mini that has not been, you know, pretty much like what I want to say is like taken care of by the previous owner if you're not getting a new one. And that's the problem with Mini Coopers is the biggest problem with them is people get them and then because of secondhand owners, they get a bad rep. That's the reason why you do not see a lot of many newer mini coopers get as much bad rep as secondhand mini coopers i'm not saying that new brand new mini coopers do not get bad rep that's not what i'm saying i'm saying if you compare the statistic numbers okay secondhand mini coopers get more of a bad rep and more repairs and breakdowns than newer mini coopers do and that's a problem with that okay so Generally speaking, a year in review, there's been nothing I've had to replace on it. Now, there was where I replaced the headlight trim, but I don't consider that against the car because the previous owner had taken off the headlight trims before, probably to do like a chrome delete on them or something like that. And they had actually wound up snapping off the little uh, pin, like the little metal clips that hold it into place. So that's why they came off. But I just easily ordered another one of those. Other than that, no issues, no problems. Um, if I had to give some negatives about owning a Mini, it would be that go into it knowing that the car that you're going to get is not like pretty, and if you get a regular Mini, I'm saying this, okay? You're not going to get a car that's mainly going to haul a bunch of stuff, like you're not going to be able to put a, a giant TV in this thing. You'll be able to fit like a 24, 27 inch monitor TV, something like that, but you're not going to buy a Mini Cooper to then go and buy like a 75 inch TV. It's not happening, okay? So, probably my biggest complaint that I feel like a lot of people uh, won't notice or they'll have to get adjusting to is if you take your Mini Cooper to do car washes, okay? This is the biggest problem. If you go to a car wash, okay, and there is a rail, like a track that your car has to get on, even if it's a touch-free one, you cannot do it for the most part. And this all depends on the Mini. It depends on the Mini that you get but for it specifically seems to be for a 2013 cooper okay a regular cooper they are a little bit lower to the ground uh, than s's i'm not sure why they are designed that way but if you try to take it through a track uh car wash it will get stuck on the track your tie rods will get stuck on the actual track of the car wash this happened to me when i wanted to take my car for a car wash and i just had to get off the the track and then they refunded me my money back because there was nothing I could do about it there's nothing like I could sit here and do to be able to get through it so I had to drive off the track 
but other than that no issues no problems no overheating no problems with uh belt slipping no problems with like uh the any issues with like chains no transmission problems nothing like that getting 30 miles per gallon it's a fun little drive to enjoy just make sure that when you get a mini you know what the previous owner has done you know they've taken care of the car and i think that's the number one problem when people get minis is they just buy a second hand mini where the person who mainly owned it did not take care of the car but it doesn't just go for minis it goes for any other type of car but generally speaking for minis the problem with minis is a lot of people get them and then want them to have a quick fun ride and then they get rid of them and in that time that they have them they don't really take as much care as they should with the car and it comes to just generally speaking of take care of your objects it doesn't matter if it's a car it doesn't matter if it's your computer it doesn't matter if it's your console whatever it is that's just how it should be but that's it i hope you guys enjoyed the video and this has been my yearly update of maintenance on the mini and in total i think as far as like spending uh repairs it's literally only cost me 200 bucks that's about it that's it so 200 bucks for a whole entire year is not bad and might i mind you that that was not a part that actually needed to be replaced i just replaced it because it's recommended that you replace the spark plugs at eighty thousand miles so that's it i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys next time